you may well be faced with a question which asks you to find the distance between two coordinate points. And the only way you can go about answering such a question is to use Pythagoras' theorem. Now, let's take an example. Let's say we're asked to find the distance between the two points A and B, where A is the point 2, 2, and B is the point 8, 10. Now, the best thing you can do is to either visualize in your mind or to write down where these two points are in relation to one another. So we have A there and B up at 8, 10. Now the next thing you do is you join these two points up with a line. And once you've done that, you form a right angled triangle. Now what you are looking for, the distance between A and B, is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And you know that with Pythagoras' theorem, the only way you can find the hypotenuse is if you first of all know the length of the other two sides. Now, how can we go about finding that out? Well, to find the vertical height, what we need to do is compare the difference, or to look at the difference between the two y values. Now, if we do that, we get 10 minus 2. We can do the same with the x values to find out how far along the x axis we have come, and that will give us the base of our triangle which is going to be 8 minus 2, which is, of course, 6. So we can work out that the height of our triangle is 8, the base is 6, and once you've got these two lengths, the rest is pretty straightforward. Pythagoras' theorem, if we call the hypotenuse x, tells us that x squared is going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared, which tells us that 8, x squared is going to be 100, and x is the square root of 100, which is, of course, 10. And that's all you need to do. Now, some people get a wee bit bogged down and confused with examples which involve negative coordinates or coordinates which have negative values in them. So let's have a wee look at an example and we'll hopefully make things a wee bit clearer for those who might struggle a wee bit. Again, two points, finding the distance between them. This time A is the point negative 3, negative 4 and B is the point 8, 10. So, again... Visualize the two points or write them down, join them up with a line, form a right angle triangle and compare the y values to get your height, compare the x values to get your base. Now, our height is going to be 10 minus negative 4, the difference between 10 and negative 4. And remember, two negatives side by side make a positive. For our base, it's a difference between 8 and negative 3. Again, two negatives side by side make a positive. So 10 take away negative 4 is 14. 8 take away negative 3 is 11. And we can then go about using Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of our hypotenuse. Now, if we call the hypotenuse x, then x is going to be 11 squared plus 14 squared. Work that out. You get 317. And the square root of 317 will give us x, which is, to one decimal place, 17 and that's all there is to it. To find the difference, distance sorry, between two points, use Pythagoras' theorem. And first of all, before you do that, work out the length of the two shorter sides.